Our first project is a homemade drone that is cheap and lightweight. We'll be using a Raspberry Pi Pico and a Bluetooth module to control it. You can connect your phone to the drone through Bluetooth and fly it around wirelessly. This project may seem complicated, but it's actually a lot of fun for beginners. Our second project involves building a LED cube using a Raspberry Pico, a LED controller IC, and several LED lights. To start, we construct the cube and connect the LED driver IC to it via a printed circuit board, which can be easily created. The LED lights used are RGB, allowing for customization of colors. This project is suitable for beginners to try. The third project showcases the capabilities of IoT using the Pi Pico device. It features a module with two relays and utilizes a Bluetooth module to enable wireless control. This project is ideal for beginners who aim to gain an understanding of the fundamentals of IoT and communication protocols like ERT. I'm going to be showing you how to use a Raspberry Pi 4 connected to a camera, along with a new Pico board connected to a peer motion sensor, so that if something walks in front of the sensor, as shown here, the Raspberry Pi turns on. This is good for low power applications, in which we want the Raspberry Pi to remain off for most of the time. Now, upon turning on, the Raspberry Pi will run a computer vision script, which looks for human faces. If it doesn't find my face, but rather the face of a stranger, it will then ping me a notification on my phone, sent through IFTTT. Here's a stranger's face. And as you can see, I got the notification. Thank you for watching. That's all for today. Stay tuned for more.